You want to get in on that mug life? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I'm a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay, Etsy, and other platforms to help support my family. And one of the things that I love to sell is mugs. And if you are interested in getting more videos about selling mugs or other things on eBay, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. So let's dive in. How can you get more mug sales? You really want to get in on this because mugs are a great thing to flip. You can buy them cheap. You can flip them for a really great profit, but you want to know how to get more mug sales. I'm going to share five ways to get more mug sales. And at the very end, so stay tuned at the end, I'm going to share with you my number one top selling mug. It's going to blow you away. So the first, the first way to get more mug sales is to look for mugs that people want to buy. How do you do that? Well, you start learning about the kinds of mugs people want to buy. So I've got a ton of videos about buying and selling mugs, but some of my favorite brands to pick up are Taylor and Ing. This brand sells really well, and this is what the mark looks like. Finding mugs with favorite cartoon characters like Snoopy can sell well. Another favorite character like Hello Kitty or Totoro. This is a brand called Odagiri. And this is another Odagiri mug. So Odagiri mugs frequently have scenes of the shore, seashore, not always, but they're often engraved or kind of embossed feeling. So there's a bit of texture to the mug, often on stoneware. Another that's always a fast seller is the Far Side. So if you find Far Side mugs, those can sell really well. Another brand I love to pick up is Washerbach. I always say wash your back because I can never say it quite right, but this is what the brand looks like on the bottom of the mug. It'll say wash your back, like so. Other mugs to look out for are three-dimensional type mugs, like the Hello Kitty face one or this one that has a little angry giraffe down in the bottom. Other things to look for might be ways to express personality, like a favorite animal, say a lion or a giraffe. So knowing the kinds of things that people buy is one way to really jumpstart your mug sales. The second tip for getting more mug sales is to clean your mugs. I know it seems counterintuitive, but make sure that they're clean. You can also buy Barkeeper's Friend, which will get out the gray spoon stains down in the bottom of the mug. I found that, that I don't always have to do that to sell the mug, so it's personal preference. If it's really bad, I would suggest probably doing it, but if there are a few spoon scuffs in the mug, then it might still sell. The third tip for getting good mug sales is to take good pictures of your mug. So really make your mug shine in your photos. Bright, clear pictures, show all the different angles. If there are any flaws, make sure that you take pictures of those. And yes, I've sold mugs that have got damage on them but they have to be pretty special. Next is to make sure that you're taking good measurements of your mug. You want to know how tall the mug is, how wide it is across the top of the mug. If the base and the top are different measurements, then measure those as well. Some people put in the fluid ounces. They'll get a measuring cup, pour water into the mug, and then pour it into the measuring cup to find out how many fluid ounces it holds. I don't personally do that, but some people do. It might help your mug sales even more if someone knows how many fluid ounces it will hold. With the measurements, put the measurements in your photos, but also in your description. You don't have to, but people don't always pay attention to the photos and they'll look in the description, not see them and just automatically send you a message. So it, it will save you time to go ahead and put them in both places. And fifth, know how you're gonna ship your mug. Most mugs that I ship, I charge about $8 because I will bubble wrap my mug, I will put it in a six by four by four box, and then I'll put it in a padded flat rate mailer because if it fits, it ships, and that costs about seven something to ship off uh, through the USPS. If it's a bit bigger mug, I have a six by, I have an eight by six by four box or an eight by eight by eight box. 
if it's a really big mug that I'll ship and usually still costs about eight bucks to ship eight eight fifty because if your mug gets there in great shape and it's been packaged well you're probably going to be more likely to get good feedback on that sale I'm going to share with you my number one top selling mug for the highest highest ticket amount that I've sold so far if you've got a better one I want to hear it all right here it is this mug is an Emma Bridgewater mug when I bought it I only got it because I thought it looks like a shaving mug like a vintage shaving mug I wasn't aware that this brand was a fancy schmancy brand so happiness cup of coffee it had this base kind of like a shaving mug but here's the brand toasted marmalade Emma Bridgewater made in England this mug sold for $77. So that was my highest price selling mug to date. Hopefully I'll get another one, but I want to hear if you've got any tips for selling mugs and if you've got a higher selling mug than that one, leave me a comment. Let me know what it was. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you are interested in more videos like this, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.